a lot of Latinos consider themselves white. So I was, I was let me find it. And, and, and I think it's like 10 years. A lot of Latinos are going to consider themselves white. And initially, years ago, remember they said white people were going to be the minority? No, white people are going to end up, they're going to still be the majority because a lot of Latinos identify themselves as white. Let me see if I can find it. It's this researcher. Man, my hand's cold as hell. You're as cold as ice. All right. Growth in the number of multiracial Hispanics come primarily from those who identify as white and some other race. That population grew from 1.6 million to 24.9 million between 2010 and 2022. The number of Hispanics who identify as white and no other race declined from 26 million to 10.7. So in 12 years, in 12 years, it went from 1.6 million Hispanic people identifying as white to 25 million people. I did not know Latinos were identifying as white. Let me find a news article. Look, uh, in 2021, asked about their race in this way, more than half the Hispanics in the survey identified as white, 58%. You see, when we were growing up, we were thinking, okay, all these Hispanics are coming over here. They're going to be the majority. They're identifying as white. Two thousand fourteen. Why Hispanic isn't a race on the census? Code switch. What I found in my research that is in Texas, two thirds of the Latino population checks white. Here we go. An article from twenty fourteen on CNN. Why are Hispanics identifying as white? For all complexity of our national complexion, Americans still too often think that white makes right. Consider a new study of a census returns reported by the Pew Research Center. It showed apparently that significant numbers of Hispanics are now identifying as white. The research was presented at the recent Population Association of America meeting. Some news reports suggest that Hispanics, rather than solidif solidifying a distinct ethnic identity and becoming a driving force of a majority minority, Future, that's what I was saying. Remember, we were growing up, we were thinking, okay, all these Hispanics are coming in. Hey, they're going to be the majority. No, 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 no. Might instead try to be just the largest group of immigrants, such as Italians or Jews, to become white. Which we, it, back in the day, Italians weren't white. Italians were Italians. Jews were Jews. But now everyone is just following up on the white. Such a shift, if it's real, has potential has potentially big implications. Look at this, 2014. Think about national politics, where the Republican Party plays to a shrinking, aging, and increasingly aging base of white voters. If large numbers of Hispanics were to start thinking themselves as white, that could alter the calculations and rhetoric of the GOP. They told us this in 2014, people. 2014, May 30th, 2014, they told us. They told us that 10 years from now, they're going to be identifying as white and they're going to vote for the white man. They told us 10 years ago, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, they told us that the Hispanics are going to vote for a white man. Mm, mm, mm. It's always been in our face. So you can't blame black men 
for not voting for Kamala. You can't blame black women for not voting for Kamala. You got to blame the Latinos. And guess what? They all thought they was just going to get away with this. He's not going to tear up our families. We're legal. Doesn't matter. You're Hispanic. They own your ass. Oh, yeah. Ecuador, Brazilian, Chile, Nicaragua. Yeah, all of you, they coming for you. White ain't right. <laughs> Your white ass is going left at the border. They sending you back. I hope, I hope you guys understand what you voted for. I hope you do. Because white ain't always right. 2014, they told us exactly, look at this. May 30th, 2014, this is exactly what the fuck is going on. This is verbatim. Think about national politics where the republic, hold on, <clears throat> let me get this right. Let me get this right. <clears throat> Thinking about national politics, where the Republican Party plays to a shrinking, aging, and increasingly anxious fan base of white voters. If a large number of Hispanics were to start thinking of themselves as white, that could alter the calculations and rhetoric of the GOP. But it turns out such scenarios are, at best, premature. What the new research really appears to reveal is just how confused we continue to be about race. And how, even amidst the confusion, whiteness remains dangerously malleable idea that Americans must deal with more candidly. Let's start with three points of confusion that Pew's report on new research revealed. First and foremost, at basic is a statement that has been repeated yet ignored so often that it's like the fine print in an ad. Hispanics can be any race. That means there are black, white, and even Asian Hispanics. The label Hispanic, meaning with origins or heritage in Spanish-speaking countries, was intended by the census to be category and ethnic heritage, not an official race of its own. Yet in recent decades, Hispanics and Latinos have indeed begun to forge a cross-cutting identity that can feel like a racial category, shorthanded as brown and is sometimes set beside the other major blocks of America, racial color grid. So Hispanics can be at once a race and not a race. It's no wonder that the media coverage of Hispanics can be muddled. The second point of confusion is that the new research did not in fact find a Hispanic flight to whiteness. What it found was a growing numbers of Hispanic when told by government forms that they were not a race unto themselves, and that they had not chose a race, chose the category called white. As the study authors noted, this reflected and limits the census forms, which are to change in 2020, at least as much as any underlying yearning among Hispanics to be white. Oh my goodness, they called this play by play, word by word in 2014. Oh my goodness. Oh, but this brings to the third point of confusion which is that to the extent that some Hispanics did in fact want to be seen as white rather than Hispanic. They were using the clumsy language of color to express subtle reality of class. Basically saying, I'm not brown, I'm white. I'm better than you. I make more money than you. I don't want you around me, I'm white. I'm coming back, but when you see me, I'm white. That's what they were saying. That's what they were saying. In 2014, they had this laid out and none of us even looked at it. But they say CNN is fake news. How is CNN fake news when they predicted the 2024 election in 2014, 10 years prior, and the Latinos voted for the white man only to get screwed by who? The white man. Oh, it hurts. It hurts, but this is what you wanted. Because you thought you was right. Or, I mean, white. Oh, well, did you mean you, you thought you was right? 
Or wait, wait, did they be, did they think they were white or did they think they were right? Which one was it? Someone let me know. Did they think they were white or did they think they were right? Which one was it? I'm not sure. Hispanics, I'm sorry, it's unfortunate. I know not all of you guys did this, but the I I, I guess the ones that thought they was white, I mean the, the ones that thought they was right. What is, what is it? Did 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 they think they was white or did they think they was right? I'm I'm confused right now. I don't, I don't know what they would vote though. I don't know if they thought they was white or they thought they was right. I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Kendall said both. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you guys laugh, guys. I'm not trying to make you guys laugh. I'm just all I can do is. All I can do is give you guys, I'm reading from these articles. I know they say CNN is fake news, but exactly what they said would happen on May 30th, 2014 happened November 5th, 2024. I've never looked up this article. I just heard, I was, uh, I forgot what I was listening to on the way to work. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Cause yesterday we were supposed to do this live that we're doing now. We're supposed to do it yesterday. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you do, but I was riding to work and I was listening. I was like, damn, I didn't know Hispanics identified as white. But they identify whiteness as rightness. Only to find out that you better hide your kids and hide your wife because they stealing everybody out here. They going door to door. They ain't even mentioned like the Haitians, the Ukrainians, the Jamaicans. They said, hell no, nah, we going for them illegals. South of the border, I said, oh, Lord, not, not you didn't vote on getting your family members up out of here because you thought you was right. I mean, white. I mean, right. I mean, damn, I can't remember which one it was. Was you right or was you white? I can't even remember, man. I can't even remember. Torian, I can't. Torian, my mind is shot. I don't know if Hispanics are identifying as right or white. I, I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> but. Hopefully, I hope your white ass is on the right side of the law when they come a knocking. That's all I'm gonna say. If you identify as white, I hope, I hope when they go and come and talk to you, you on the, the right. I mean, the white, I mean, damn, what is it? The white side or the right side? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all better figure it out. 